Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Yo, last chance to get in the $1,000 cash giveaway survivor. It's free to enter if you're um, a VIP subscriber. $1,000 cash out of my pocket to the winner. How it works, you pick four teams against the spread every week. Let's say those are your four picks. If you go two and two or better, you remain alive. If you go one and three or worse, you are out. Last man standing takes the money. Click the link in the top right corner for more information on that, uh, or go to kylecrims.com or download the Sauce Network app. Don't miss that deadline. I'm cutting it off at 12 noon Sunday, so make sure you join if you're interested in that. Anyway, we got a game to cap here. Houston Texans versus Indianapolis Colts, AFC South, division battle here. Let's go. Welcome to the Swiss. Get the Suez. All right, Indy on the road here in Houston. The line opened up Texans plus seven and a half. Um, public is about even, but look at all the sharp money on Houston. Wow, 95% of the money in is on Houston as of Tuesday morning. Holy shit. So the books react to that sharp money. They drop the line from seven and a half down to seven, but then look what happens the rest of this week. The books have been taking Colts money all week. We're all the way up to 23% of the money on Indy. So Colts money's been coming in all week at seven. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, the line for this game should be Houston plus 9.38. So a two, two and a half point lean on the Indianapolis Colts. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown and we'll start with the streak. The Indianapolis Colts have lost their week one game eight consecutive years i didn't even know that someone told me that today eight straight years they've lost their their week uh their week one game and want to know how bad it is one of those losses and one of those eight was to the jags and that win was the jags only win all season anyway let's break down the matchup we got matt ryan versus lovey smith where is this game being played? 2010? Like, what the hell? Nah, seriously, though, uh, obviously this game's going to come down to the Houston Texan defense, whether or not they can keep Jonathan Taylor and the Colts running game in check. Good news for the Texans. Well, I guess it's kind of good news. Um, out of the four major football metrics, uh, pass offense, pass defense, rush offense, rush defense, the Texans' strongest is their run defense from last year. The downside of that, they were just 23rd in the NFL. So yeah, that's pretty depressing when your strongest, your strength is just 23rd in the NFL. I think it's fair to say that Houston's defense does definitely play better this year, but seriously, look me in the eye. Do you really trust the Houston Texans defense to hold down Jonathan Taylor and the Colts offense? Me neither. One thing I think people are missing, or at least overlooking, I should say, because the Texans were so bad last year that people are, are overlooking the fact that the defense actually wasn't that bad analytically. I mean, the offense was 32nd in the league in most categories, 31st. I mean, pretty much rock bottom in the league in every offensive category. But when you run through the Texans' defensive numbers, you're looking at like 23rd, 24th, 23rd, 25th. I mean, not that that's good, but compare, in comparison to the offense, the defense shows a lot more promise and there's a lot of young pieces on it. So I think it's a pretty fair statement to say the Texans' defense does have a, I don't wanna say a high ceiling, but like they definitely have some potential. Now this is interesting too, something I read about the Colts. So apparently their play calling last year got extremely predictable, check this out. So the Colts run play percentage on first down was apparently so high that teams knew exactly what was coming on Colts first downs. And in the last month of the season, the Colts had just 37% of their first down plays result in five or more positive yards. That was one of the worst numbers in the league in the last month of the season. That was one of the worst numbers in the entire NFL in the last month of the season last year. Now, is that a game breaker? Is that some crazy stat? I probably shouldn't have included in the video. I personally found it interesting, so I threw it in here. To be honest, if you combine the Colts week one woes over recent years with the fact that I think the Texans defense is gonna be surprisingly decent, I would love to bet the Texans here um, the offense has me a little hesitant. I mean, they drafted Damian Pierce, but other than that, what pieces did they add to this offense? This offense that was probably the worst in the NFL last year. Houston didn't really add much offensively. I don't trust this Colts team as much as everyone else does. I liked the Colts last year. I don't like them as much this year. I'm not the hugest Matt Ryan guy. I think the week one woes continue. I do think the Colts probably win the game, but I think Houston's gonna score on a weird ass trick play early. And it's just gonna be one of those weird games where the, the score keeps coming up and you're like, holy shit, this game is still 7-6. Like one of those games where it's like, yo, what are the Colts doing? 
Um, so I'm going to take the touchdown. I'm going to take Houston plus seven. I'm siding with those early sharps that hammered the Texans early. Give me the points. Let's go Texans. If anything changes with this pick, I will let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Also, if you wanted the bet of the day, the parlays of the day, underdogs of the day, and my top seven bets for the day, all that's available on the Sauce Network app or visit kylekerms.com. Week one NFL, first football Sunday of the year. Let's have a great day. Let's bet smart. Bring in some money. I will talk to you on Twitter.